All right, guys, welcome back to another Wilson video. So uh, the servers have been down. I've been fighting with that all day. So I just went to offline mode here. And uh, what I really want to look at is this skill wheel here and map out my play style and my character, so to speak, and share that with you guys. But I want to, I want to get to a, uh, I want to do a DLT type character, damage over time character. Never really gave that particular playstyle much of a chance. Back in my wild days, I might have picked up a warlock for maybe a week, two weeks. Uh, just never gave it the chance to, to, to fill it out. So now I want to see what it's like. And uh, briefly went over all this, uh, checked out some things, and it definitely feels like it's doable in this game. And uh, let me make sure all my, my trees are lined up. And I'll let you guys see what I have planned for this particular route of my character. Okay. So for a DLT type character, definitely magic user. Uh, so we're going to start in this little purple. If you look at it, the purple normally you'll have things will be good for your magic users. And what I'm going to do first is work my way up to this skill here. The attrition strategist. Every hit is more likely to inflict an ailment on its target. 6% status element chance score. So really necessary for a DLT type character. These other two, uh, I'm not too keen on. They seem to be like tanky type skills. Health gloves now uh, both heal your health and recharge your force shield. I'm gonna gloss over that. Then we have when your force shield is full, your damage taken is reduced. Good, but not quite what I'm looking for. I'm gonna beeline for straight damage and DLT type skills. So on the way there, we have some spell damage. If we go back this way, it's wisdom, spell casting speed score. Uh, same thing here, spell casting speed score damage. So this is probably, I'll probably hit this area on this first inner circle of skills, and then I'll work my way out here. And this one seems to be the bread and butter for you wanting to do damage over time. So this skill here, applied uh, element stacks applied with critical hits can deal critical damage. It sounds pretty freaking amazing. Oh, uh, this one here, insidious decay. When applying elements, more stacks are applied to the enemy. Other forms of damage are less potent. So you pick up this skill if you want to make sure uh, damage over time is your thing. Just because everything else is not going to do any damage. If you decide to use any melee skills, any fireballs, all that good jazz, 30% uh, less damage you'll do with it. So you want to make sure if you're in it to win it for DLT, you can pick up this guy here. All right, over here, Grievous Afflictions. This can usually only apply one element type. Now, two different elements can be applied with the same hit. Sounds pretty badass. So we want to try to go for that, stack as many elements as we possibly can. Mortal Offering, killing an enemy afflicts with, afflicted with elements, give you a temporary damage boost. Sounds pretty legit. So I kind of really feel like this whole second part of the uh, skill wheel here I'm going to fill out. Lastly, Power of the First Men. When applying an element, there is a chance to double the number of element stacks that are applied. So all this stuff is really amazing sounding. And uh, almost sounds, you know, very... It's a necessity for the build. And we got element damage, spell damage, movement speed. So we got a lot of really good uh, stat boosts here. So on this one, I might come up this side and hit up that one there. I mean, you can't really pick and choose what you want here. But honestly, this whole... I might even pick this up if, if I got points to spare, just to make me a little bit more tame here. All right, the outer wheel here, and the, the cool part about this outer wheel, you can actually delve into two different trees here. So I'm not sure what stasis is just yet. I have to check and see what this stasis is. Let me see if I'm actually in the right. Well, this is curses. I actually might be this area I want to go to. Yeah, let's move my will over some. Uh oh, 
Let's go. Yeah, I think this is where I want to be. So uh, this really sounded a little interesting to me. The Fatal Pact. Uh, every ailment that stacks which you inflict is also inflicted upon you. Each time you reach 10 stacks of one element type, that element is removed completely, giving you and your allies a bonus for a short time depending on which element is removed. So that sounds really cool, uh, as you can you know, bring support to the table when you're in a party. And that sounds pretty cool. It's not straight damage oriented like, um, you know, I have won it initially, but the utility behind the skill, I feel like it's going to be really awesome. And I definitely want to put this into the build. And that one's more survivability. Maximum force shield is doubled. Sounds pretty neat. And the occult damage that an enemy receives from your attacks is increased with each per stack they are afflicted with. So, I uh, haven't really found out what occult damage is. I'm, I guess it's just a, uh, an element, maybe associated with your weapon. Uh, they may or may not take that for right now. I'm kind of new in the game. Not sure if I'm going to mess with that just yet. And the secondary tree, there might be something cool here. So this sounds pretty good. Wind Tree Hall. When a projectile hits an enemy, it will bounce off of them and hit another enemy. Killing bonus frost damage. Projectiles will not bounce if they have piercing remaining. So that may only apply to ranger skills. So I may have to bounce it. So this one sounds pretty cool. Acute tracking. Every second that you're in combat, you, re you receive cold-blooded points that increase your damage. If you are hit, the cold-blooded points are removed. So while in combat, gain cold-blooded points every two seconds with the maximum of the die. Honestly, all of these sound like they might only apply to the ranger. So let's see what this has. I could honestly take this maybe as a secondary skill tree up there. Enemies are killed instantly if hit while their health is below a certain threshold. Not really a DLG thing. So when your force shield is above a certain percentage, your sacred spell damage is increased. Not really my thing. So not really my thing either. So honestly, uh, what might happen here is that we'll work our way up here, get what we need out of this tree, and then we'll probably start up a secondary tree. So, which might be, you know, if I need a little bit more, a uh, little, little bit more tankiness to me, I can come down here, get some health out of uh, some of these, you know, or maybe I'll just stay within the first or second uh, wheels here and just pick up whatever defense I can out of these two. Uh, trees in the first circle. That's my plan for a DLT character. And uh, we'll see how it plans out in the future. Cool thing about this game, you can reset and try other little builds. But uh, my first time is uh, with a DLT character, so we'll see how that goes. But if you guys like what I have to show here, hit me up with that like subscription button at the bottom there, and I'll keep the videos coming. All right, until next time, guys. Peace.